brutal temperatures have actually knocked the power out for thousands of homes across the region. Yeah, our Erica Stanish spoke to some customers who are without power tonight at the worst possible time. Crews have been working around the clock to restore the power, but that doesn't change the fact that some are left sitting inside not only without power, but without heat, and the digits on their thermostats are quickly dropping. Residents on the north side in the dark tonight and without heat on one of the coldest days we've seen so far this year. Got up at 5.30, thought, yeah, we will get my day started at 6 a.m. Boom, lights went out. Duquesne Light reports up to at least 25,000 customers had their power knocked out around 6 a.m. and thousands are still left without it. How cold is it right now in your house? 52, 52. degrees. Some customers say when they called the power company, representatives were unable to give any timeline on how soon it could be restored, but instead offered other advice. Yeah, I got some great advice from the from the person we spoke to. Uh, she told us to go shopping on a snowy, icy day. That's not good advice. Ray Legal says he's working now to preserve the heat. I have the third floor upstairs that gets like pretty drafty and stuff, so I closed all the doors up there and. Um, for like all the doors I'm not going to be in, I just have like towels underneath and stuff and just insulating them. And finding ways to keep his pipes from freezing. All the sinks and the water and stuff, I just have them on kind of like a drip right now just to make sure water's still flowing, the pipes don't freeze up. Or... Duquesne Light says restoring the power to all customers is their top priority. In the meantime, though, they said that there are several warming centers set up throughout the city for customers without power to go to. We have a full list on our website on KDKA.com. On the north side, Erica Stanish, KDKA News.